After months of anticipation, WhatsApp for Wear OS is finally here and it's available for download on the Play Store. That's right. The wait is over and WhatsApp is bringing its A game to your wrist. So, how does it work? The easiest way to install it is to head over to the Play Store on your watch and then download WhatsApp from there directly on your watch. Once the app is installed, you have to link it with the app on your phone. As you will open the app, it will launch the WhatsApp app on your phone automatically. You can confirm if you want to link the two. You will then be prompted to add the 8-digit key showing on the watch. Once you do that, the phone and the watch apps will be linked and your conversations will start loading to your watch. One important thing to note is that if you have two WhatsApp apps on your phone, the watch app will only connect to the primary WhatsApp app and there is no option to choose. I have two WhatsApp apps on my Galaxy phone using the dual messenger feature and it only connected to the primary app. Now then, once you have it installed, what can you actually do with this app on your watch? You can see your entire messages library on the watch. As you continue to scroll down, it gives you the option to load more conversations. And once you scroll down further, it will then give you the option to load all of them. You can go in any chat thread and read through the previous messages. It lets you go back a lot, but eventually tells you to open the app on your phone to load older messages. At the bottom, there is an option to type the message or you can just send a voice note right from your watch, which is awesome. Once you have recorded the message, it also allows you to listen back what you have recorded or delete it before you finally send it. You can also visit the contact profile and mute the chat. And guess what? If you have an LTE enabled Wear OS smartwatch, you can do all this untethered. Within the chats, you can view and download images, but videos and stickers are not supported yet. There's also a new option in WhatsApp notifications that give you the option to open the messages in the watch app, which is really neat. But wait, there is even more cool stuff here. You can set up WhatsApp as a complication on your watch face, which indicates the number of notifications you have received. There is a Wear OS tile available too. From these tiles, you get quick access to recent contacts and send voice messages. WhatsApp already added the ability to take WhatsApp calls on your Galaxy watches, but there is still no way to make a call even after the watch app is available. And it doesn't show you the archived chats as well. But when you do archive a chat from your phone, it instantly disappears from the watch app. One loophole here is that if you have locked any chat on your phone, it will still show on the watch app and all the old or new incoming messages will still be visible. Overall, I am glad that this app is here, but a lot needs to be improved and hopefully we will see these things fixed in future updates.